All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Figured I'd give you a quick little walk around of the uh, new car I'm working on. I uh, got a few things I'm gonna show you and uh, I'm gonna try to video some more stuff on this thing. Um, Cause I've never heard of this and I thought it was pretty freaking cool. Um, and it, you know, a lot of guys, uh, well, let's just say a lot of guys might be interested in doing something like this. I have a, uh, well, I don't know what year it is, but it's uh, <laughs> Fox Body, obviously. Um, uh, what's the, the arrow year, 86 to 93, somewhere in there. Uh, it's got a built 306, nice AFR heads, you know, nice, nice uh, top end to it as well. It's got a Vortec V1 on it. And I guess a lot of guys, I've never really been a supercharger guy, um, I guess a lot of guys uh, run these at 8 pounds, or that's what they come uh, pre, uh, I guess what, that's what size the pulley, that's what the boost amount that it'll make, I guess. Um, well, he's turning his, or got it turned up already to 14 pounds, and uh, so it's putting out a lot of heat, and it's going right into the intake. So there's a kit, I guess, on online. It's a CX racing kit and uh, comes with the intercooler and everything. And um, all the piping you need and everything like that, all the couplers. And it, uh, it makes this kit intercooled, which I think is awesome. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to be doing uh, this video, the next couple videos. Other than that... Uh, this thing is getting uh, that intercooler kit. It's getting a uh, catch can kind of over in this area. I'm going to have to weld some bungs and get the thing fully uh, plumbed. And uh, it's got like a bolt in cage. I got to make some plates for the rear and bolt it in through the bottom and the rear. And uh, weld a bung in the O2 sensor. Or weld a bung in the exhaust for a uh, like an AEM wideband O2 sensor. And then. Um, that's about it, I think. Uh, I might put a PA performance, uh, like the mini torque starter on there. Kind of what I run on my car and my dad's car and everybody. Everybody, every other Fox buddy I've, I've worked on, uh, I've always tried to put a PA mini on because they, uh, they're great. This thing has hot start issues. So, um, it, it heat soaks the starter and it won't start when it's hot, but that's, uh, that's, not that big of a deal. I, uh, other than that, I'm going to get going on this thing. Uh, I got to take the, uh, the headlights out. I might not, probably won't have to take the headlights out, but, uh, there's 1500 bolts holding the bumper on and, uh, I'm waiting on some of that, uh, glass protection. I hear that a lot of people put it on their cars, uh, when they're working on it. I'm getting ready when I before I do the catch can or anything. I'll definitely have that. Hopefully, I mean I ordered some. Um, I'm waiting for that to get here. This I'm not too worried about because when I take this off, it's all going to be back, you know, in the front and underneath over here. I won't be leaning on the car at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. Probably won't show you guys taking the bumper off. It's kind of kind of pointless. Um, besides that, I might show you guys how I mount this thing and uh kind of go from there i haven't really i looked into a few things on the kit but not uh not too terribly much so uh yeah we'll just see what happens as we go along i might video a few things and show you guys uh where i get along the way but uh other than that i'm just gonna go ahead and get started so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one all right guys before i get too ahead of myself uh i was getting ready to pull the intake off and uh get started on a catch can but I wanted to show you guys this intercooler and uh, kind of how everything's routed it was pretty big mess it's pretty difficult to get to all this shit um, but I guess we'll start with the intercooler because everything up there is a mess but uh, CX Racing uh, it's actually a pretty nice uh, intercooler and uh, of course didn't come with hardware but that's okay. Um, got it all mounted up. All square and everything like that. Uh, and then <laughs> this piping nightmare. It uh, 
wasn't too bad just a lot of little adjusting stuff but you can see um, both sides coming in through the through the fender I might have to move that this uh, clamp right here just so that it sits flush but uh, got it all up in here intake filter comes down here mass airflow is up in that area and uh, you can see here the pipes come down you know you'll have uh, I guess the hot side of your intake pipe uh, that comes from the head unit comes down and around uh, down through here and then through the you know through the actual intercooler up back through this way and into the intake and then right here is the head unit intake pipe and uh, that wasn't too terrible I had to cut down a little bit lower uh, around here which it already was cut open a little bit and a little jacked up for this other intake pipe but uh, all I did was try to smooth it out and put this piece of hose around it and uh, kind of trim it out it looks pretty decent I gotta change a few of this uh, or a few of the way these are routed and stuff but I gotta go get more uh, more hose and then I gotta mount this regulator kind of up around here somewhere uh, just cause I don't wanna I don't wanna have him I don't think he wants to change all the fuel lines and stuff so I might have to make a little bit of room and I uh, might have to change a couple little things but uh, probably make a bracket somewhere around here for the, the regulator and uh, I think that'd be fine about there maybe but uh yeah so I gotta move a few other little things and uh that's it for the intake pipe I guess this is the blow off valve or recirc valve I don't know I'm not a like I said earlier not a big supercharger guy but this uh this is the way it was installed on the old one it had a, a fitting at the top there a fitting in here and uh i guess that would be the blow off valve and it just recirculates back to the intake i don't know um i just installed it back the way it was because there was ports on the intake uh or you know the both intakes so that's about it for the uh this install i just wanted to show you guys this it turned out really cool actually i think it looks pretty freaking badass just there's a lot of a lot of shit going on but it looks pretty good and um Oh, the only problem I'm having is that uh, I can't get this piece to sit any lower. Um, so, without having to modify anything, because it's hitting on this intake pipe, and I already cut this as low as it'll go, because if I go any lower, <laughs> it runs into this pipe. There's a lot of piping going on with this, that's for sure, but... Uh, I got it pretty close. I, for some reason, this coupler is only like an inch and five eighths long, and or an inch and a half, I guess. Uh, it's somewhere between an inch and a half and an inch and three quarter long, and I don't know why they gave such a short uh, intake pipe because when you put these both on there, it pretty much takes up the whole coupler anyway. I don't know. I don't like the way they set that up, so I'm putting a little bit longer of a coupler on there. Uh, that way to take up some of the slack from it not fitting absolutely perfect. But uh, that way uh, it all works still. So that's about it for the install on the CX Racing intercooler kit for a supercharger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on a catch can. And I have to pull the upper intake and weld a couple bungs in the valve covers. He's got some filters on here now, but... I gotta pull those filters out and uh, weld up some uh, some fittings on there. Make a little catch can right here, and then uh, get that mounted and get all that routed and everything. So that's gonna be the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next.